Welcome to the complete wallpaper engine status guide. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. And make sure to use the timestamps to help you navigate through the video. Click on the first link in the description to get to this page. This is the wallpaper engine Steam page, where you will have to purchase the software in order to use animated wallpapers. Usually the application will cost you around $3 to $5, depending on where you live. After buying the application on your Steam account, Wallpaper Engine should appear in your Steam library under Software. Open up your Steam library and in this drop-down menu, make sure that Software is selected. You can also right-click Wallpaper Engine to add it to your favorites in order to make it easier to find. After launching the application, the icon should appear in your taskbar next to your system tray. Simply right-click the icon and here you have multiple options, but for now, select Change Wallpaper. After a second or two, Wallpaper Engine will open up. In case you're using multiple displays, then select one of them. You can also split ultra-wide monitors to show a wallpaper on either side. In case you're unsure about your display resolution, then right-click your desktop and select Display Settings. On this window, under Scale and Layout, make sure to select the recommended display resolution and scale. In my case, my recommended resolution is 3840 by 1080, which is why I'm splitting it into two 1920 by 1080 displays. You can also choose to mute a specific section or monitor from here. In case you don't yet have any wallpapers installed, then the Installed tab should be empty. Navigate to the Workshop tab. Here, you can search for specific wallpaper names or filter by the most popular, most recent, most subscriptions, and so on. Under Filter Results, you can improve your search by using more metrics to search by. You can change the type, age rating, and resolution to find a fitting wallpaper to use. In case you're unable to find a good collection of wallpapers, then make sure to check out this page, which is linked in the description below. Here you can find complete wallpaper engine collections including the file size, resolution, and genre. After subscribing to a wallpaper, it will take a moment to download. These wallpapers can use up size from less than 1 megabyte to more than a couple of gigabytes, depending on what you're looking for. Generally, looping videos in high resolution use up a lot of storage space and could also use up a good chunk of your CPU and GPU resources, depending on your system. In order to reduce the impact of these wallpapers on your PC, I suggest making some small changes. First, navigate to your wallpaper engine settings. Here, under Performance, make sure to change the Other Application Focused option to Keep Running, Application Maximized to Pause, and Application Full Screen also to Pause. Set the Display Asleep option to Stop. Under Quality, Make sure to set the preset to low in case you're using a low-end PC. For mid-end systems, set the anti-aliasing option to MSAA two times, enable post-processing, and set the resolution to full and FPS cap to 24. Also, make sure to enable reflections. In your general tab, make sure that the application does not start on system boot, and the other options can be set to your personal preference. In your advanced options, make sure that the process priority is set to normal. And in case your performance is bottlenecked by your CPU, then make sure to use the UI hardware acceleration. This will make sure that your graphics card gets used to run the user interface. Don't forget to apply your changes. You should also make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates System Settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. Lastly, 
Make sure that your antivirus and application control is set to Trusted with the Wallpaper Engine. After subscribing to a wallpaper, select it in your Installed tab. Here, you have the option to unsubscribe again to free up some space. Change the color scheme, playback rate, volume if there's any sound, alignment, position, and so on. You can also save the wallpaper as a preset to use again in the future or to use to make your own wallpaper engine wallpaper. Next, we will go over how to make your own wallpaper. This will largely depend on what you wish to create. First, we will download a free to use existing wallpaper from Unsplash. This website allows you to download and use pictures for free in a high resolution. After finding a background you like, make sure to download it to your system. When this is done, go back to the Wallpaper Engine application and click on Wallpaper Editor. On this window, you have the option to create a wallpaper from scratch, to edit recent wallpapers or to use a template. If this is the first time you're using this editor, then I suggest using a template first. You can also drag and drop your downloaded background picture into the application. Select a project name and color scheme and click on OK. After a few seconds, you should see your background picture here. Use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the image. On the right hand side, you have the option to add effects to your image, such as animation and blur effects, distortion, enhancements, and you can even download more effects from the Steam Workshop by selecting Browse Workshop. On the left hand side, you can add layers and change your scene options. As before, you can choose from different preset and workshop assets to add to your image or video file. In order to preview the effect and other changes, navigate to File, Apply Wallpaper. The Wallpaper Engine window will open up and your wallpaper will show up as your own desktop wallpaper. If you wish to publish your wallpaper, then navigate to Workshop and then share this wallpaper on the workshop. Here, make sure to set a title, genre and description for your new wallpaper. Set the age rating option to the right setting, the visibility to public, friends only or private, and make sure to use a preview image for the Steam Workshop to better find it in the application. Everything else, including a link to the Wallpaper Engine collections, will be listed in the description below. Simply select to subscribe to a wallpaper and it will be available in your Wallpaper Engine application. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.